the gentleman from Texas to recognize. Thank the chairman. Uh, thank the attorney general for being here before us today. On October 21st, 2021, before this committee, I ask you about Mr. Scott Smith, a father in Loudoun County, Virginia, who was arrested at a school board meeting where he questioned the rape of his daughter in a bathroom in the public school there. You said at the time you were unfamiliar with the case. Are you now, yes or no? I'm only familiar to the extent I've read about it in the press. You sent a memo on October 4th, 2021, directing the FBI and U.S. Attorney offices to address, quote, harassment, end quote, of school boards. Yes or no? I sent a memo to address violence and threats of violence in connection with school personnel. Directed at school boards. Not directed at school boards, directed at school personnel, school administrators. Throughout the country members. as a priority for the federal government, for the United States Attorney's Office. That followed a letter on September 29th, 2021 from the National School Board Association to President Biden and emails from the National School Board Association Director Chip Slavin to the White House in which the White House asked for specific threats. And one of the examples was Scott Smith. Subsequent to our hearing two years ago, 26 states left the National School Board Association and Slavin resigned on November 23rd of 2021. Last week, Mr. Smith was pardoned by Governor Youngkin. Do you think the governor was correct, yes or no? Pardon authority belongs to the governor. You don't have an opinion on whether the governor was correct? I don't know the facts of the case, so I'm not in a position to make Have you sense. rescinded the memo that you issued in 2021, yes or no? What we're discussing Have occurs, you rescinded the memo, yes or no? What we're discussing here occurs. Does the memo still exist? Is it still going, yes or no? Has it been rescinded? The memo was uh, intended to have meetings 30, within 30 days. Has the it been rescinded? The 30 days have finished. Nothing has happened in more than a year and a half with respect to that but it memo. has not been rescinded. It has not There's been pulled back. There's nothing to rescind. Despite evidence that has come out from the National School Board Association commissioned report that White House officials discussed this with DOJ more than a week before the letter was sent, the NSBA apologized. Have you apologized? Yes or no? I've testified seven times since that um, original um, memo What's the first time out? you're back here since we talked about it? I'm sorry? It's the first time you're back here in front of us. Have you apologized for putting that memo out that implicated Scott Smith as a domestic terrorist, something the governor of Virginia has now pardoned him from all of these accusations? The memo said nothing about him, nothing about parents being terrorists, nothing about attending school boards. So the answer is it's not been rescinded and you haven't apologized for it. The answer Again, is that's that not la an labeling a Labeling an American citizen a domestic terrorist in a memo and referring to it and in a memo that's built on the back of that. But now we had this uh, compliments being driven to the Civil Rights Division. Let's talk about Mark Houck in Pennsylvania, a father who was arrested with heavily armed federal and local law enforcement in front of his wife and children. This after Mark Houck's lawyers had said he would appear voluntarily. Local authorities investigated, found no case. Mark Houck was arrested by the FBI for FACE Act violations. The jury met for an hour. Houck was acquitted. Now, when I was in federal court, I don't remember that being my result very often. In fact, I don't remember happening at all, where we went it, took it to a jury, and it was acquitted after an hour. Did you investigate this or in question the United States attorney why they wasted resources for such an obvious result? And can you explain, yes or no, that that was a good use of the Department of Justice's authority? The Justice Department respects the jury's verdict. The decisions in that case were made by agents and prosecutors on the ground. Are you concerned that enforcement of the FACE Act has been biased towards pro-lifers over anti-life protesters 126 to four? by our count, and we're asking information to be able to track down the information of such prosecutions, but 126 times against pro-lifers versus four times for people who dare to question the issue of life. I've so I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll leave that out there just to say that is the civil rights division at play. Meanwhile, we've got, uh, you know, the uh, very liberal progressive groups being targeted as well. Senator Cruz and I sent a letter for you, to you asking for information about how the FBI informant had gone to a liberal group's uh, pro-life meeting, and yet we didn't get any response from you. So I'd ask if you'd respond to our letter that we sent back in March asking about F FBI infiltrating such a meeting. I don't know what you're referring to, but I will ask the Office of Legislative Affairs to look into this letter. Thank you. Finally, our tax cases require approval by main justice no matter what district has venue, yes or no? Do tax I, cases as a general just, matter require approval by main justice say, no matter what district has venue, yes or no? It depends on the circumstances in the example that is, I know you're generally referring speaking, to. Generally speaking, yes. Not Since main it, justice runs tax division, yes or no? Main justice runs the tax division. 
In the Hunter Biden case, I assured Mr. Weiss. That's not what I'm asking about. I didn't ask you. I haven't mentioned that guy's name. I didn't. I very simply asked a very simple question. Do tax cases require approval by Maine justice? As As a general matter. Most of the time, but not when the attorney general has granted authority to a U.S. attorney to do what he thinks is best. And in a turf battle, a tax Ms. division Mr. approves Chairman, changes. Mr. Chairman, point of order. I mean, I, 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 I recall gentleman's my time, colleagues gentleman's in Texas time is ex- having a minute and a half of additional time. Gentlemen's time has expired. The uh, uh, 